بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وموله uh, We are still in the room with some of the Revert brothers here and uh, we had alhamdulillah an interview beforehand with a brother who had called himself Anas maybe he wants to keep as well his name What do you want to keep your name as well by the way Anas? I'll keep it What's yeah. your name? Ashtukullah Chocolata? Chocolate? Ashtukullah Ashtukullah right And you'll shall see his video because it'll be recorded uh, about uh, three days ago as soon as we finished the Umrah, alhamdulillah. And now, we're after finishing Sematemba uh, Kizito, we're going to go to our brother here, who is as well, embrace Islam. So uh, we will be uh, asking the, the uh, people who are watching, what do you think his background is? What do you think he's coming from? Okay, so one, two, three, that's it. Brother, where are you from first? <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. May Allah guide my words to be a good example. Um, my background is, I'm from a mixed background. Mixed my brother. mom is from Hungary, my dad is from West Africa. So, so West Africa, your father, and your mom is from Hungary. Mashallah. Let's just start with your father. Your father's religion. Um, my dad's religion is Hindu. Hindu, mashallah. And your mother, Hungary? My mom is a Christian. So how did the Christian, in, you know, Except to marry to is she a religious person, your mother, to marry somebody who's a Hindu, or it doesn't matter for them? Um, it's a very good question. Both of my parents claim to be embracing their belief systems. Um, okay, but the Hinduism does not really go in. See, Hinduism uh, is not something to do with the God, you could say, revelation, but Judaism and Christianity and Islam traces themselves to prophets, where Hinduism is totally different. But it's a mixture, alhamdulillah, subhanallah. So how long, how, okay, let's just say, your father is a Hindu, your mother is a Christian, or what are you then when you raised up? Hindu Christians or what? It's a very good question. So because of, because their belief systems <laughs> different. Were, were different, both of them tried to almost to try and make me to Dictate. take their side. They can take on to you truth. what they want. Yes, yeah, this is the truth. No, no, this is the truth. So because of that, from a very young age, I just want to know what is the truth. And I try to approach it objectively and never to take sides. Because there's no one upside to any one of them. So, no. <laughs> so Hindu in the morning, maybe Christian in the evening. <laughs> no, or none of them. And maybe just none of them. I would, re so, I would read what they Did you like have a belief yourself? Um, I always knew and felt that um, there is one God, um, I didn't know what is the path for me to to be able to connect with him okay. what's because your name? I couldn't. Um, Khalid. No, no. What's your name before? Um, Attila. Attila Sakifio. Attila Sakifio. Okay, Attila Sakifio. Now he's chosen as Khalid. By the way, there's no pressure upon any person who embraces Islam to change his name. Unless his name is a religious symbol, which is not a Muslim one, or for example, it means for, you know something which is bad. Otherwise, you could keep your name. But anyway, you chose Khalid, nice name. Um, how old are you? I'm 41 years old. 41, mashallah. Married? No, not married. So we've got three single people in this room, by the way. I'm married. Oh, you're married? Yeah. Okay, Simba. <laughs> Simba, uh, Sima Timba Kizito is married. Okay, mashallah. Right, inshallah, we'll Allah be getting married. And um, how long have you been Muslim? Um, I had my shahada on the 24th of May last year. So it's, it's a year. Nine, it's Less than a year. Mashallah, mashallah. So it started your Islam. So you're, mashallah, tabarakallah, and you're at uh, the moment had. Your Umrah in the first year, whereas your friend here was in the room after 21 years was granted the Umrah. It's amazing, <laughs> mashallah. It's amazing. <laughs> right. So, you're 41 years. You I could see if, you're, if the camera can see this. Some tattoos here. Could you just tell us about it? What, where did you, I mean, get this idea to have these tattoos <laughs> and all of this, which you are at the moment, if you are a Muslim from the beginning, you will never do it. I know that because you told me this. No. Yes. Um, so, what, what is that? More. Tell me. Well, this is a dragon. Like each, to me, each tattoo had their meaning. It's almost like a little notebook. Can I just see what you roll the sleeve up? What is, what is that on the top? Okay, so that's a lady. Yeah, Hindu, this is this like a Hindu lady. lady? It's like a Hindu lady. Hindu lady. Could you just zoom <laughs> the camera on that? Hindu lady. And what's that? <laughs> if you don't mind. These are roses. It's a flower. Okay, yeah. all right. So, okay, this, this is a fern. So, fern, how, fern, how long did you have these tattoos? Numerous years. Long time? Yeah. 
when you were maybe in youth, uh, teenager? Yes, I would say mid-twenties, late-twenties. Okay, well. Um, what was the reason for that? Have these tattoos? I mean, did you feel you like it or there's something that, for example, something bothered you, you wanted to go to this? Um, to me, it was it was literally more like, like a little storybook. So events happened in my life, which I felt they have significance and I just wanted to put them on. How was, so each was your parents' reaction regarding this? Well, it was controversial. <laughs> <laughs> who is with and who is on, on, they, no, against? Um, none of them really. Um, oh, none of them. See, I, I knew that your both no. parents are religious. They will not support such a thing. No, no, no. Really. So there's no controversial. There was unanimous <laughs> agreement. But <laughs> it is controversial in terms of. I, you are controversial. At, at that point, yeah. At that point, I didn't feel that, like any, there's any problem with it. But I felt that they are not really supportive of it, and especially it's like, well, you, so, you so have one. You, okay, you, now you have another one. Why do you need another one? Okay, now you have two. You have three. You've got all, all your hands now. Okay. Well, what does that say? By the way, I'm just reading it. Vertical. Oh, Vertus looks me at the Latin. It says, "Truth is my light." Truth is, is your light. It's okay. my okay. my quest for. So you're looking for the truth. What's go, what, what is going so you you took the stand, which is you don't want to upset any of the parents, Hindu and Christianity. What led you to the path of Islam on, in May when you said you embraced it? What was that thing that you could say that I could put my finger on that point? That's the one that made me to look into Islam, embrace Islam. What was that? I don't have that as a, as an event. I have that almost as a feeling. Or it's like I felt it in my heart um, because of what I knew of Islam. I only knew what's from the media, which was mainly negative, or it wasn't too much positive from from what I came across in the media. Um, so it took me some time to even to to start looking into it. So I had I had this desire, this urge to. So basically, it's a curiosity. Why this media talking about Islam? I want yes, to understand so what, what, what is, is what, Subhanallah. What is I think if um, the enemies of Islam knew about this, they will never put any negative statement on in the media because, <laughs> because it was they're triggering one. other people to investigate. <laughs> it was that I remember one. the nine of eleven. There was lots of people embraced Islam. One of them is the Chris Angela, which was a, a, a you know one an actress, an American actress, and she embraced Islam right. on that day because she said, "Why are they really blaming this religion?" She'd written it, and this is really synchronizing with her feelings. Mm -hmm. And all of this media they're trying to do is actually working against them. And you know that Muslim, alhamdulillah, is the most peaceful people there. Muslims. Mm -hmm. You find, you know, the old one ones here and there. But as an Islam, as a Muslim, you've seen how many people here in MashaAllah in Mecca, how many people you've seen, lots of people like ants here. Yeah. <laughs> so when you read about it, you you decided this is synchronizing with what is in your heart. How did you go to to, to a masjid to embrace Islam or what? Yes, this is a this is a, this this is is a story. family story. Um, so I kept researching it. I came across across different concepts, and each concept just opened up a whole new like dimension, di dimension to to it. And at one point, I started like literally struggling. So I remember I had to. This was like the day twenty four of May. I was meant to go to work. I was meant to cycle into work, and I felt like I can't. I can't not be a Muslim anymore. Like I'm wasting, I'm wasting time. I can't. So I was just like, instead of going to work, I cycled straight to the only masjid I knew at this point, which is the GCI. And I just What's turned the GCI, up. What's GCI, guys? What, what was the Greenish Islamic Center. Oh, Greenish Islamic, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Well, Sheikh Abdul Razak, yes. <laughs> so I cycled up in my little bike gear. I knew I'm dressed inappropriately, probably. And um, I just stood at the gate because there's no, there was no one there. So after a while, I went time. in. Like Absolutely, <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> so I went in just through the gates. I saw these small shoes. I realized that they are um, like probably ladies' shoes, so I can't go to the other side of the door because well done. I don't Mashallah. know what is that. Good so, hunch. <laughs> so I decided. I'm, I'm, otherwise, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so I decided I'm just going to stand there yeah, as yeah. long as someone comes out. And one of the sisters came out and said, oh, like, Salam alaikum, brother. Can I help you? And I, I was like, Yes, I'm here to do my sarada. Today. Yes, today. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes sparkled. Mashallah. Mm. Ran away a few, after a few minutes of organization. She came back with um, with a gentleman who showed me around. 
and the center and took me to a conference. Was it, was it the imam or is it somebody else? It was the a director of... Um, a director, okay, another brother. <laughs> of the masjid and he took me to his conference room where there was a seminar going on for the sisters and the speaker who was speaking into the microphone they pulled up a chair next to the speaker and said okay Attila you already mashallah celebrity there is a brother here who would like to embrace Islam today and do his shahada and then gave me the microphone why why would you why what brought you here and you told them I told them that it's I just feel it Something is pulling my heart and I can't it clicking. I, I, click it, definitely clicking. Click yeah. And I can't I can't delay it any longer. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. It's the best thing. And you did the shahad alhamdulillah and everybody's hugging you now. Well yes. I'm not hugging me because they were sisters but Oh we're not talking about the brothers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they gave me flowers through the wall and food. Oh, I was God. so touched, like I was I was it was He's very emotional. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless you with Hajj as well, brother, inshallah. Mm -hmm. And I know you've got only about two hours, maybe two and a half hours to, you know, go downstairs to the lobby to meet the brothers and then off you go to the uh, Jeddah airport, inshallah. And uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with Hajj. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you to be uh, steadfast to the deen and the Islam. And with the brothers, you'll always be stronger. Don't be on your own because being on your own will be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And uh, shaitan is going to be making all of the brothers who are in this room Maybe the brother who was 21, 20, 21 years ago is a Muslim different from you, but the newcomer to Islam is number one target for the shaitan. He was telling him, Look, this is how Islam is difficult. Why do you become a Muslim? Put the doubts on your mind, on your heart. So you have to be together, okay? And always the wolf will eat the sheep which is away from the flock. But the sheep which is sticking with the flock is hard for the wolf to get it. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala li wa wa أن يجعلنا من من يستمع القول في التجوى حسنة ما الله يوجد وارك الله فيك سأكون الله خير بردس إن شاء الله أن تسيب لنا الله أبيسور بودنا الله بردس ونبيس السلام